Hello everyone and welcome into the channel. My name is Brent and in today's video we are going to be doing our M1 Finance weekly recap of the week. So what we're going to be doing here is going over four different areas this week. Number one, the overall performance of the portfolio since we started this back in 2018. This portfolio is now over four years old and it has been receiving and compounding dividends for the entirety of that time number two we're going to go over the weekly performance what are our best performers what are the worst performers of the week and number three what is the activity did we buy did we sell anything what dividends rolled in we're going to go ahead and cover that this portfolio has broke and stayed above roughly forty thousand for even during this downturn so i'm pretty Pretty happy with the performance even during the S&P 500 losing nearly 20%. And during that time frame, the equity has been remaining pretty high, but the dividends have also been continuing to roll in. Nothing's been cut. You know, it wasn't like back in 2020 where so many companies been again to cut their dividends or not raise their dividends. So there was a lot of issues back then that we're not seeing in today's um, current downturn in the market so that's really nice to see that uh, but you know again different environment so with that said if you guys are brand new here to the channel definitely go down below hit the red button to subscribe make it gray hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video and of course give this video a big old thumbs up it really helps out the video helps out the channel and i really appreciate it overall also drop me a comment right okay so starting off with you know taking a look briefly at the past weeks there has been a lot of red out there, you know, quite a bit of red. There was a time frame here when the portfolio was, you know, four weeks in a row, just green, green, green across the board. But here, as of about two, three months ago, we haven't had really much of a break. You know, we had red, red, red. Uh, you know, there was a big threat starting back in end of February, March time frame. And then it just continued to kind of trend from there. There's been a little bit of greenish out there in the market you know bouncing wise but then it quickly just um loses its upwards momentum and then retraces backwards fall into a lower low so right now we're kind of in that phase right now where hey we had two or three weeks of red we're kind of retracing higher and then we hit that ceiling and we could potentially break past the ceiling and begin to kind of recover but what's driving that uh, growth of the upside so starting off with number one where are we at overall with our portfolio well the last time i made our video we were at 47.47 percent .47%, and what's interesting here is we went up roughly three percent but what's weird here is i don't know where that three percent came from which I'll, I'll go ahead and show you here in just a minute because it was just last week that we made our recap where we were sitting at 47.47 percent .47%. so remember that now, our best performers here have been Apple, number one, Avi and Pfizer are fighting for a second and third place. And these were pretty positive last week as well. Then we go down the list, and this is all kind of double digits down here, and it gets trails down into our negatives here. Our worst performers, Clorox here down roughly about 20 to 25%, around 22%. Uh, this is showing down 40%, but that's a little incorrect. IIPR has actually been hammered the most. At a point, this thing was up over $1,000 from where it is now, and it is down 36%. I think this is more accurate versus this number. I think IIPR is actually the worst performer in the portfolio. Stanley Black & Decker, right behind it, down 20%, DLR. So this is a real estate investment trust right here. This is a real estate investment trust, and this one, recently took a downturn as well here in the short term waste management and starbucks are positions that i recently started adding to within the last three months so they've already been in a bit of a downturn uh you know in the last couple months so i have been buying and using this opportunity to kind of buy more positions buy more stocks you know pieces of the company within waste management and starbucks i've been kind of letting these kind of settle a little bit uh, before i do anything with them uh, so that is the overall performance of the portfolio. Now, taking a look at the weekly performance. So last week, we were at 47.47%. Now, when I switch this to the weekly here, we can see that the weekly performance is down 0.08%, which is really interesting because a week ago when I, I looked at this, I swear I did. I think I made a video on it, right? Uh, two days ago. Oh, okay. I made a video two days ago, it says. Um, and it shows, I must have really said on Friday, that I was up 
47.47%. And now we had a negative week, but it's only down 0.08. So it's, it's kind of throwing me off here. <laughs> so overall, uh, on the weekly here, over the last few days, Apple has been bouncing back very strongly. I think Apple is my single biggest position. No, no, no. Facebook is my single biggest position, followed right behind by Apple. I have Apple in my other portfolio as well, and Apple in this portfolio. It may actually be bigger than than Facebook. It just depends on, you know, Facebook's down 40 to 50% right now. So Apple may have overtaken it. I'm not sure where it kind of sits there. Uh, but Apple is definitely one of the bigger players individually in my portfolios. And then we have the list here of very nice gainers overall. Stanley Black & Decker making a little bit of a bounce off those, you know, extremely lows. IIPR may have found some bottoming. So Stanley Black & Decker, IIPR, and, and um, those ones seem to have really nice performance this past week. Well, job numbers came out and they were negative, but that was better because it's showing signs of a slowing down economy and kind of something what the Fed is kind of working towards creating. So while it was negative, it was positive in a sense. So it's kind of interesting. And then our worst performance this past week, Colgate, Digital Realty Trust, Lockheed Martin. Uh, Lockheed Martin has been positive year to date. And I've actually been taking a look at Lockheed Martin, wondering if I should take a little bit of profit and skim it off the top and kind of just, you know, put it in the cash for now and to redistribute it elsewhere. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave Lockheed Martin right where it's at. But we can see Lockheed Martin is in our top three as far as losers and uh, Stanley Black and Decker Cisco in our top three within our positive winners for the week. Uh, so that's really interesting. Just the way that I looked at my last video video here on the um on the weekly on the overall and then compare it to my weekly here so i don't i don't know what's going on there uh but that is the weekly difference and then if we compare this to the s p 500 and the other indexes here we can clearly see it was a very very positive week market was closed for the fourth of july happy fourth of july happy belated fourth of july everyone hope everyone got to enjoy a little bit of um, family time fireworks hanging out, camping out, and didn't stay up till the one o'clock, two hour clock hours of the night listening to fireworks like I did. <laughs> uh, but that was, uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, so yeah, overall, pretty positive across the board. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Thursday, very positive. Friday, down essentially negative on the day. So nothing biggie on the day. For the week, up 1.94%. Year to date, down 18.19%. Dow Jones, once again, positive here. It had one negative portion uh, early in the week on Tuesday, down nearly a half a percent. Friday, took a little bit off more than the S&P, down roughly you know, 0.15%. And still for the week, up 0.77. Year to date, still down 13.76%. The Nasdaq, this one blew everything out of the water. This actually, water, uh, this actually started really early on. You can see here Tuesday up 1.75%, whereas everything else, you know, we see the uh, Jones down 0.42. We see the S&P at 0.16. So everything else is essentially flat. But there were these big companies out there, Facebook, Tesla, Amazon, uh, Google. Um, they essentially boosted really early on in the market and yeah it just kind of took the nasdaq away 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 thursday and friday uh, mainly thursday here you can see a big old whopping 2.28 percent there on thursday uh, for a solid return on the week of 4.56 percent year today it is still double what the dow jones is almost double right it's down 25.63 percent uh doing a little bit off worse than everything else out there so uh that is the weekly performance and we can clearly see we are negative somehow on the week. But for some reason, I believe we moved upwards. I just don't know. Let's see here. Hold on. 41,275. 41,275. See, we were at $41,275 in that video. And now we're at 41,806. So, yeah, this is uh, throwing me off here. <laughs> It's not just me. Okay, moving on to number three, the activity of the week. So uh, we've survived, right, from the 4th to the 8th of July, 2022. 
and we can see here that we did make two deposits. We made a deposit last week on Friday, the 1st of July, 127.66. We didn't have a single dividend get paid out this week. So uh, at the very end of our last video, I was talking about DLR wanting, you know, needing to pay us out still towards the end of the month. They were supposed to pay out in June. We saw that it was supposed to get paid out, but during the video recap, it wasn't appearing in here saying that, you know, M1 Finance is often a little bit slow to display within your activity tab. So by the time that we make our video, once again, it'll appear within here. And there it is right there, DLR of $15.53. And then we had Main Street Capital chugging right behind it. It paid out $2.99, essentially $3 on the dot there, almost. And um, that completed my June dividends. So I think where we ended the month, we were ending up uh, roughly about $95 in dividends. So uh, with the $3 from Main Street, we actually end up around $98, $99 in total for the month of June. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, we go over um, the June recap of the month. And that is our activity of the week. As far as the dividends go, this is this is accurate. I updated this right after the last video where we purchased a couple companies here. We had purchased right here, two buys. We bought a little bit of IIPR and waste management. So IIPR just got beat up so much here in the short term. I just figured, you know, just toss a little bit. It's only 73 bucks. It's been beat up so much in the short term. If I go over here and pop in uh, IIPR, I've been kind of looking at these. This is my entire portfolio here. It's down 56.39% from the year to date. When I looked at this port, when I looked at this position over the last three years, it had a high of a gain over three years at 123% gain. And it lost absolutely everything as of November, 2021. Uh, it's down 11.92%. So, you know, it pulled a Netflix on me. PayPal, you know, one of those companies out there, it essentially lost everything it had and then some. So uh, that is IIPR. Let me know what you guys are buying out there. If you guys would like to see anything specific covered, you know, specifically covered, I do need to go out and investigate other stocks to buy as your portfolio, you know, stocks to watch kind of stuff. If you guys would like to see a separate video going over my positions, and my thoughts on each position individually or if you guys have ideas for other companies to check out let me know down in the comment section below i am definitely interested in doing you know stocks to watch in july and august you know three potential dividend stocks to buy or three growth companies to buy uh reasons to kind of buy them check them out but let me know down in the comment section below if that's something you guys would be interested in and taking a look at so that is going to be it for this video again if you guys are brand new here to the channel definitely go down below hit the subscribe button to make it great hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video and of course give this video a big old thumbs up i appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye